The bones, shell, and pottery found in shell middens give us amazing insight to what day-to-day -day life was like for Native Americans in this area. Now, I am down at the Galveston Island State Park. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how flat and barren everything is out here. Besides these coastal grasses, small shrubs, and abundant wildlife, there's really not much out here. And since the tide is so high today in Galveston Bay, you can actually see the bay water encroaching up onto Galveston Island. Now, out here on the west end, the elevation is very, very low, giving us a good idea of what the entire Gulf Coast would have looked like just a couple hundred years ago. Prior to European settlements popping up all along the Gulf Coast, there were multiple Native American tribes living along Galveston Bay. And for literally thousands of years, this was their home. And if you think about it, it really makes sense. Instead of having to go and hunt for big game every single day, you could go into Galveston Bay, go fishing or go pluck out oysters and eat your fill. The one interesting thing about gathering oysters along Galveston Bay for thousands of years is that the oyster shells would begin to accumulate in what are now known as shell middens. The bones, shell, and pottery found in shell middens give us amazing insight to what day-to-day -day life was like for Native Americans in this area. And every shell midden is different. These shell middens could be absolutely gigantic, being over 50 feet wide and over 10 feet tall. Here are some photos from a shell midden research project at Armin Bayou Nature Center just up the road from Galveston Island. Now, what is consistently found next to these large shell middens are Native American burial sites. Shell middens have given researchers amazing insight to Native American lifestyle and coastal ecology in this area. The consistency of shell middens could tell you a lot about the diet and the coastal ecology based on the shells, bones, broken pottery, and even weapons found in shell middens. You could learn a lot about what was going on here thousands of years ago.